guys, it's Marissa, and my book was The Yearling by Marjorie Cannon Rawlings. I enjoyed this book, although it was longer, because it really does relate to our society now. In order for something to be a classic to me, it should have all three types of connections, you should easily be able to pick out the time period, the author's expression, you should be able to pick out more than one theme, because not everyone's going to pull the same thing from the book, and you should be able to have just more than that, you should have more information than those four topics. I do believe it's a classic because it has all of those things. My uh, personal relation I made with the book was I have a love of animals, just like the whole book revolves around animals. My literary relation I made to it was a series of unfortunate events because the book does have a lot of unfortunate events in it. Um, and in the time period, there isn't a lot of people to take care of you, just like how in a series of unfortunate events kids did not have an anyone to take care of them. The world relation I made was with arson because arson has been on the news a lot lately and in the yearling they did burn down a house in order to prove a point. The time period in this book is the mid to late 1800s based on the way they described their guns which they used to shoot animals, their muzzle loader which is an earlier uh, time period gun and a rifle which could be it later time period or earlier time period. And uh, Marjorie Kenyon Rawlings has a very unique style of writing because she uses a lot of descriptive adjectives in order to express herself. She uses that in this sentence. The ceiling was half hidden with suspended ropes of colored paper, green, red, and yellow. And from that sentence you can easily picture a ceiling half hidden by all those colors and so she does paint a very clear picture in your mind. I pulled more than one theme out of this book. I pulled out, everyone goes through hardships, but you pull through in the end. Learning is a matter of perspective, and love is found easily, but is lost just the same. The one I'm going to explain is learning is a matter of perspective, because in our society, learning is your intelligence. How much you know. Can you read, write, use vocabulary? But in their time period, it was, can you learn to shoot? Do you know how to, t how to hunt and plant and stuff like that? So it does depend on where you are and what time period you're in. Uh, my book took place in Florida in a scrub, and by that I mean a forest or a densely packed. Even though there weren't any civilizations around, you could t it was densely packed forest. They called um, farms islands then, and so my family was the Baxters, so their farm was called Baxters Island. They also use odd vocabulary because they're in Florida and they were in such an early time period. So you know they have a southern accent and they do use sometimes odd words. They also, in their sentences, mix up where the subject and the verb go. So you can obviously tell that they're not from this time period. So I do believe this book is a classic because it did have all three connections, it did have more than one universal theme, it did have an artistic expression, and the time period was easily pulled out. So I do recommend to read this book, even though it would take a little while. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.